Hey everybody, Andy from Tennis Euphoria, bringing you some thoughts on the Head Speed MP 2024. I've had mine for a couple of weeks, had some good hits with it, and I have to say when I first saw uh, the release on the paint job and some of the details about the update, I was sceptical, and I preferred the old paint job, if I was honest, from seeing it online. Getting it in hand uh, has impressed me a little bit more. It does have a really cool matte paint, even though I'd rather the black and white be reversed, uh, but that's just a personal thing. Chose to string mine with Luxlong Savage in the mains and Head Lynx Touch in the crosses. Both at £52. I've always felt with speeds, particularly the MP, you want your poundage to be uh, 52, maybe 53, 54. Ultimately, you do have a 23mm beam and a 100 square inch head size. And I felt that these strings were in many respects um, a metaphor for the racket. You have some um, pop in the mains and then some touch in the uh, crosses. So a uh, jack of all trades, which the speed is. So we have the same head size, the same beam. What head have looked to do with this release is to lower the RA down to 60. Uh, obviously there is the inclusion of Auxetic 2.0 basically adds Auxetic again at a second place um, in the frame uh, and they've looked to increase the target swing weight. Now I have to say again that I was pretty sceptical when I heard that that were the changes. Um, I like the sound of the 60 RA but I was a little bit sceptical about the swing weight on the uh, mid plus MP going up as I think for many people who will be buying this frame then once you get to 330 in swing weight and above then they might run into issues. So what was mine? Um, it was pretty much on spec in weight. It was under spec in swing weight, however, at 323.5, so seven points off target. And unfortunately, my version of the previous was over spec at 327 in swing weight. So good old quality control just goes to show that um, there's always variance in what you buy. Uh, in effect, the 2024 that I had was a lower swing weight than expected, and it was almost reversed. My previous version was more like the swing weight like the 2024 is intended. So it kind of skew whiffs things a little bit. Uh, when hitting them directly side by side, I think it's fair to say that most aspects of performance is very, very similar. And what I mean by that is power levels, uh, levels of control. Um, there is one huge difference, though, between the outgoing version that I'm hitting here and the 2024 and that is in feel. Now I've heard um, quite a lot of people suggest that it's subtle, but I actually think it's pretty significant. And that change in feel, basically this is a much more uh, muted feel. Uh, you don't really feel um, any vibration through to your arm. So I think this will be very much dependent on where you sit. Personally, I felt with uh, the previous speed and the, the version even before that, you would feel quite a bit of vibration in your arm. Um, and I actually didn't like that. I thought it was a, a sort of tinny type of feel. And it was always a bit of a frustration for me, really, because in many respects, a racket that is a jack of all trades would sort of suit me quite well. Um, this feel, I personally much prefer. Um, it's kind of odd to have a lower RA, but then to have something that is much more muted. But I think that that is something the Orsetic 2.0 seems to do. It seems to allow flexible frames to really be uh, stable and it seems to be quite effective at dampening vibrations. So that's what you should expect if you're going to be looking to hit with this uh, Speed MP for 2024. Uh, the fact that it is 60 RA, I think you do feel sort of connected. Um, I was possibly tempted to actually lower my tension a little bit, but just like most speeds, you can hit with fairly good, easy depth. You can then switch to hitting a more aggressive sort, um, hit some angles. You can then hit a pretty decent slice. You've got enough uh, touch and feel to hit a drop shot. And I think that is ultimately what the Speed MP is all about, isn't it? versatility and a jack of all trades that kind of blends your tweener power frames uh, with the old world of things that are more controlled. In terms of string pattern, 
I actually think that people who are leaning towards the MP will be happier with the updating feel than people who are leaning towards the pro. If the pro feels the same as this, then I suspect that people might look for a little bit more feedback from the pro. So it'll be interesting for me to review that. Uh, but I think for the most part, people who are looking to pick the MP will probably be a little bit more interested in easy depth, spin, power. Uh, and with all of that, you know, that extra bit of protection around long term uh, comfort, I think that this dampening will offer is probably a good thing. Uh, I did feel that the um, Speed MP this edition was better on Slice than previous editions. Um, I don't know whether that has something to do with the stability of the frame that the Exetic 2.0 does, and that very much could be the case. Um, and whilst it is muted and dampened, I did think that there was ample feel to just sort of mess around and, um, and hit with enough um, touch and feel. In terms of how it plays, so I did hit with the TGT 301.4, um, Yannick Sinner's Pro Stop frame, apparently. Um, we're not sure who which Pro had this, but my friend got hold of this Pro Stop frame. We had a good hitting session with it. I wasn't able to get it onto my Swingmate machine and look at some of its stats. But actually, um, this plays quite similar in feel um, and power levels to the 2024. So I think if Yannick Sinner was to make switches to any of the retail frames, he would certainly hit the 2024 next to the uh, most previous retail edition and pick the 2024 based on it being closer to what everyone suspects is his frame. Um, I actually think that they did feel quite similar. Um, most likely and very possibly in that pro stock, there was some extra dampening that we don't know about, um, which was to make that feel more in line. So the other thing that is you know good about the Speed MP, but that isn't exclusive to the 2024, because I've always found that the sweet spot is enough and you've got just enough stability um, combined with pace at the net for it to be pretty effective at net. Uh, the only change here with the 2024 is that overall, I felt with previous editions that I would be tempted to add add some lead tape if I was looking to use these as my sticks. Uh, with the 2024, maybe I'm getting a bit older um, and perhaps not needing quite as much weight, but I think actually more likely is there's a bit more stability here with that Oxetic 2.0. And so actually, uh, to my surprise, I didn't really think that there was any need to customize this at all. Um, I could play with it possibly with a better grip, but just play with it off the bat and not feel the need to customize at all to increase performance. I'm sure other players would. Um, but I think that's a, you know, a really good thing, um, although worth keeping in mind that mine, of course, was a little bit under spec uh, when it comes to swing weight, and you will probably pick up some uh, that are over spec and over 330 and harder to swing. Um, my thanks goes out to um, Pete and G4 Tennis, G Force Tennis at Kingsley Tennis Centre. Uh, has been letting me come along to some of his development squad's training sessions. I was able to use the Speed uh, MP2024 for one of those. Uh, this drill here is quite cool. One of you plays against two at the other end. Uh, makes you really focus on your serve. Um, play consistently. Got no gaps to hit at, of course. Um, that's another thing that I was um, pleasantly surprised at with the Speed uh, MP2024. I've historically found the speed to be not the best serving racket with the the mp and i felt that possibly because mine was under spec it was really quick through the air um, and accurate enough to hit some spots so i did enjoy this one on serve uh, so an interesting update um, and i think if i'd got one that was over um, spec it might have been a different story shame that it was sort of reversed with control quality control and that this one was under spec and my previous is over spec uh, but nevertheless the big change here is in that feel um, people will probably want to switch to that feel i would suspect for the previous um, hope that helps uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one